Hey everyone, so today I'm going to talk about pivot tables and specifically how to format them so they look and feel more like a regular table like we see here that you could copy and paste out of Excel and into anywhere else that you might need to use the data. So I'm going to start by selecting my data. I've got here uh, some car sales data from the US. Come up to the insert menu and hit pivot table. So you can see I'm going to leave these as the defaults. I've got my about 24,000 rows of data and I'm going to build my pivot table in a new sheet. Cool, there we go. Now, say I want to look at the average sale price by car company and model. So I'm going to drag company and model into the rows here. Then I'm going to scroll down, find price, and drag that into values. Now, it'll always default to summing the price. So I'm going to right click here, come to field settings, and change that to average. So you can see here, but a range of options count, average, min, max, standard deviation, etc., etc. So let's make that average. Great, so now I've got the average price, average sale price, total for each model and for each of the models in there. But what if I wanna make it look more like a table? So while I'm focused on the pivot table, you can see we have these extra two menu options up here, pivot table analyze and design. I'm gonna come into the design tab and I'm gonna change the report layout to tabular form. There we go. So it's still not quite how we want it. You can see we've got some extra rows with the totals and, and things like that. So we're going to come to subtotals and, shade, and say don't show subtotals. And then I'm also going to say repeat all item labels under the report layout menu again. So there we go. So now we have all that data, the average price with company and model in a more standard looking table.